going at me again, I'll kill you. I didn't. Yes, you did. Okay. Do that again. I went around you. No, no, do that again. I'll kill you. He was right in front of me. I had to stop. You stop. I did. I'm sorry. The cop in front stopped really he stopped fast. stopped right in front of me. I couldn't do anything. Stop. I did. You can sit there and talk all about us if you want. And you can talk shit about the way we do our escorts. And you can talk crazy about how you don't like this and you don't like that. And you don't like us yelling at people. And I get it. I do. And, and again, I, I know I said it. And I even said it on Dr. Phil. I apologize for myself or anyone of my staff members' demeanors or wording, especially if they're having to yell at somebody uh, or their behavior on a funeral escort, um, if they've gotten to that point and they're screaming or they're yelling, we don't have the power of red and blue lights to pull you over afterwards and or stop you in traffic and then pull a gun on you. Um, all we can do is ask you to get out of the funeral or stay at, you know, stay out of our funeral. Um, and, and then you can sit there and argue with us back and forth about we're not cops and stuff. You're right. We're, we're not, but the funeral escort and the funeral has the right of way per the Florida law. And I, I'm just asking you to get out of my funeral. You don't have to like that. I have to, that I'm asking you and you don't have to like that. Uh, you have to wait. That, that's what the law is. But, uh, Again, as my buddy in the Big T said, uh, even he said the same thing. With all the training they have, with all the skills they have, with all this hoopla and this and that, you've never pulled a gun on anyone and threatened to kill them on an escort. Uh, and and they've done that. And what's funny is, is I know for a fact and there's actually a civil case law that Orange County Sheriff's Office motorcycle unit lost. Um, and that deputy was actually uh, forced to leave the motor unit. Uh, they had a huge accident. It was their fault. It was Orange County Motors' fault really bad. Um, and uh, in fact, that was the, es the actual funeral escort that was where things went sideways and from that moment on, they were restricted 100% from doing funeral escorts. What's crazy is, is that was the vacuum that was created that the planets were aligned and Metro State was waiting and has been just fine ever since. Except for when the deputies continued to try to get the funeral escort program back at the sheriff's office and was denied multiple times. But anyways, so... You can talk about our training all we all you want, but we've never pulled a gun and threatened to kill anyone. The most we've ever done is curse and scream and and like I said, I apologize for anyone from my company or my demeanor or my behavior or words. I apologize, truly. We do. Uh, not only do I apologize for the demeanor and the in the words, I apologize for the incidents. Uh, that doesn't mean every video you see is me. Uh, but, you know, from the bottom of my heart, for those, that, especially my fans at this point, from the bottom of my heart, I, I truly do apologize for the way I might have spoken and or my company has spoken. But again, at some point, because you're not seeing all the videos, at some point when you've done everything and you've ATM'd it so many times, you've asked, tell them, you got to make them to keep the family safe you don't have a choice and we don't have power of red and blue lights we sure don't have the power to pull somebody over and then put a gun in their face and say i'm going to kill you those words exactly i'm going to kill you um so we don't have that power not that we want the power to tell somebody we're going to kill them but uh <laughs> we don't have the power to pull you over and correct the situation all we do have is the power to continue to yell until you listen or get out of the funeral or get away from the funeral to the point where you don't put the family in jeopardy but again I'm just going on and on but I just wanted to use this as a talking point because all of you talk so much silliness um, and here it is here's a perfect example out of the headline news in the United States, 
in our own backyard, a motorcycle deputy not only having a problem on a funeral because somebody's not adhering and they have red and blue lights or blue blue lights and nobody they're not adhering to what the deputies are telling them to the point where the deputy is so furious and so angry and so worried about his life on that motorcycle because his life was probably in grave danger from the vehicle stopping in front of him and him having to adjust aggressively so he wouldn't hit the vehicle totally understand that I get that it happens to us on a daily basis one of the biggest and you can google it yourself get your little keyboard out warriors go ahead and google it yourself the number one killer of motorcycle law enforcement officers and gentlemen for those that ride with a motorcycle between your legs I salute you and support you you don't have to like what I say you don't like have to like who I am but we do it daily, 1,500 to 2,000 times a year, and we don't have the power you have, and all I can do is take my hat off and salute you guys and tell you, you guys rock, and you guys are amazing. For those that want to talk shit, talk shit. Those that don't, I, I salute you guys. Motor officers, the number one killer of motorcycle officers in the United States is... Wait for it. I don't even have to Google it. Doing funeral escorts. Yeah. Uh, it's not speeding. It's not losing control. It's not getting T-boned in an intersection because they went in improperly or, you know, somebody didn't see him at a green light. No, no. It's doing funeral escorts, listing all the above. Yeah. So I can understand why that deputy was probably hot to trot and very angry but I can't understand how all his training and all his skills acts way out of context way over us and yet you all still talk so badly about us anyways wanted to just kind of put that food for thought for those that are out there you know my supporters you guys are really strong and you're coming in stronger and I really appreciate it I hope you guys share with people um and I hope that you guys talk some of your friends and things into subscribing. Um, our numbers are moving up. I appreciate it. My Little Motors. That's what we're calling you guys. My Little Motors. Uh, which I'm sure will piss off a lot of people. But hey, you know, I I'm sure my whole channel just pisses people off. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Anyways, you guys be safe. Uh, think about that. Watch that link. Tell me what you guys think. Throw some comments out there. Seriously, let me know. Because, I mean, like I said, all the training, all the skills, all the escorts that they've done, and they're, they're acting, if not worse than us. And they have the red, blue lights and the power. We don't have the power. All we can do is keep telling you over and over and put our bikes in the way and put ourselves in danger family. Anyways, you guys be safe. Motor One's rolling.